Dame Jean explained in a media statement that in 2021, St. John did not receive any funding from the Department of Health. She said the 600,000 kina funding received from the NDOH was in 2020 were expanded in full and reports were provided to the NDOH in 2020. Dame Jean said the Department of Health confirmed to the St. John management that no further acquittal reports were due to the department. In 2021, St. John responded to more than 13,800 incidents and over 80% of these patients received entirely free services. This is reflected through quarterly reports submitted to the Department of Health. Although St. John Ambulance has centers in six locations and its services cover approximately one third of the nation's population, around 3.5 million people, and provides aeromedical reach to all provinces. Dame Jean stated that having a centralized emergency organization coordinate emergency response is sensible and well standard. Contrary to Minister Wong's statement about not putting all eggs in one basket, Dame Jean said that putting all the eggs in one basket can save money, be more efficient and saves lives too. Dame Jean said the National Council is committed to be the most compliant entity in the health sector. Thus, in 2019, they engaged KPMG and have worked with other leading accounting firms over the last five years to ensure its financial processes are world class. Frida Kana, TV1 News.